Good morning, everyone. This service was written originally ahead of time so that it could go out in the post with all of the other worship materials for this month. So I was anticipating what might happen during Holiday Club week. Um, it's never exactly um, an easy thing to anticipate all of the fun and frolic and excitement of a Holiday Club, even when we're doing it by Zoom um, and Activity Pack, as we have done this week. But it does mean that um, some of what um, we're doing today is only touching briefly on what has happened during Holiday Club Week and therefore on what will happen at Zoom Church, which will be led by the Holiday Club team. There will also be other things on the Facebook and probably on the website as well, which will show you um, wee glimpses of what's been going on at Spaceship Discovery. And if you want to know more, then you can always follow the links through the church website to um, our own Spaceship Spaceship discovery um, dot club um, holiday um, club dedicated site that Ewan put together for us and which the team have been putting things up on all week. So this service is a little bit different um, because it is touching on the holiday club theme of creation and the glory of God in the amazing world around about us that we were teaching the children at holiday club about as well as the story of Jesus come to save that world. So we're going to begin our worship this morning by welcoming one another and I'm going to include the video um, of our congregation gathering for worship on Zoom um, that we put together to the fantastic music of um, Fishy Music, Stephen Fishbacher's song. Um, welcome everybody, it's good to see you here. <laughs> we are together, now we can begin The youngest and the oldest, the only child to twin Some who're feeling left out, and some who're feeling in Gathering in this place Welcome everybody, it's good to see you here Welcome everybody, it's good to see you It's good to see him gathering in this place. Here we are together, joining in this song. Even those who feel that their singing's not that strong. And as we sing, may every person know that they belong. Gathering in this place. It's good to see you here. Welcome, everybody. It's good to see you here. Welcome, everybody. It's good to see you here. Gathering in this place. Here we are together with our hopes and fears, bringing many feelings, our laughter and our tears. Now it's time for everyone to tell the world we're here, gathering in this place. Welcome everybody, it's good to see you here. Welcome everybody, it's good to see you here. Welcome everybody, it's good to see you here. It's good to see you have the response, God listens. 
Happy or sad, God listens. When we are by ourselves or with our friends, God listens. When we are busy or sitting quietly, God listens and answers prayer. We're going to begin by singing, um, set to just a, a recording of music and some visuals, the very familiar words of the hymn. O oh Lord, my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the works thy hand has made. In the printed order of service that was sent out to our members, I suggested that for our prayer, we simply read Psalm 8 and add Amen. And so three of our young leaders from Holiday Club, all of whom have come up through the club itself as children and now help lead it, are going to lead our prayer by reading Psalm 8 for, for us. So first we have Anna and then Alex and then Ewan. O our Lord and Ruler, your name is wonderful, everywhere on earth, let your glory see, in the heavens above, which with the praise of our children and the tiny of the lips, you fill a fortress, in the nature of any service, 
I often think of the heavens your hands have made, and of the moon and stars you put in place. Then I ask, why do you care about us humans? Why are you concerned for us weak ones? You made us a little lower than you yourself, and you have crowned us with glory and honour. You made them rulers over the works of your hands. You put everything under their feet. All flocks and herds, all the animals of the world, the birds in the sky and the fish in the sea, all that swim in the paths of the seas. Lord our God, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Amen. Now let me read for you now from Genesis 1. But not just Genesis 1. I'm not going to stop until we get to Sabbath rest, because that's really important for ministers. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. God saw that the light was good, and he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, and that made the first day. And God said, let there be an expanse between the waters to separate water from water. So God made the expanse and separated the water under the expanse from the water above it. And it was so. God called the expanse sky. And there was evening, and there was morning. So that was the second day. And God said, let the water under the sky be gathered to one place and let dry ground appear. And it was so. God called the dry ground land and the gathered waters he called seas. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let the land produce vegetation, seed bearing plants and trees on the land that bear fruit with seed in it, according to their various kinds. And it was so. The land produced vegetation plants bearing seed according to their kinds and trees bearing fruit with seed in it according to their kinds. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening and there was morning, the third day. And God said, let there be lights in the expanse of the sky to separate the day from the night and let them serve as signs to mark seasons and days and years. And let them be lights in the expanse of the sky to give light on the earth. And it was so. God made two great lights, the greater light to govern the day and the lesser, night to govern the lesser light to govern the night. He also made the stars. God set them in the expanse of the sky to give them light on the earth, to govern the day and the night and to separate light from darkness. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening and there was morning. And that was the fourth day. And God said, let the water teem with living creatures and let birds fly above the earth across the expanse of the sky. So God created the great creatures of the sea and every living and moving thing with which the water teems according to their kinds and every winged bird according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. God blessed them and said be fruitful and increase in number and fill the water in the seas and let the birds increase on the earth and there was evening and there was morning the fifth day and god said let the land produce living creatures according to their kinds livestock creatures that move along the ground and wild animals each according to its kind and it was so God made the wild animals according to their kinds, the livestock according to their kinds, and all the creatures that move along the ground according to their kinds, and God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make man in our image, in our likeness, and let them rule over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air, over the livestock, over all the earth, and over all the creatures that move along the ground. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him male and female, he created them. God blessed them and said to them, be fruitful and increase in number, fill the earth and subdue it, rule over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air and every living creature that moves on the ground. Then God said, 
I give you every seed-bearing plant on the face of the earth, and every tree that has fruit with seed in it, they will be yours for food. And to all the beasts of the earth, and all the birds of the air, and all the creatures that move on the ground, everything that has the breath of life in it, I give every green plant for food. And it was so. God saw all that he had made, and it was very good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth were completed in all their vast array. By the seventh day, God had finished the work he had been doing. So on the seventh day, he rested from all his work. And God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because on it he rested from all the work of creating that he had done. been contemplating the greatness of the God who can create all these wonderful things and so we're going to invite you to sing along um, to a, an old children's hymn my God is so big so strong and so mighty there's nothing that he cannot do just to be something to help you sing along with the words in the order of service my God is so big so strong and so mighty there's nothing that he cannot do my God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that he cannot do. The rivers are his, the mountains are his, the stars are his handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that he cannot do for you. Our thinking time is a little bit different this morning. I'm going to keep it short and brief and you might want to use the pause button a few times. What I'd like you to do first is to think about the most beautiful thing you can picture. Maybe it's a flower or a face or fur stroked smooth on a dog or a cat that you know. Think about that most beautiful thing. Now I want you to think about the most awe-inspiring thing that makes you wonder. Whether that's the excitement of crashing waves over a harbour wall, or maybe a starry sky at night, or the intricate pattern of the iris of an eye. Contemplate what it is that is most awe-inspiring. Now I want you to think about the most funny creature that cracks you up. Maybe you've seen footage on documentaries of a baby elephant or a duck-billed platypus or one of those bizarrely coloured exotic birds with a strange mating dance that just makes you think, that's not real. Think about the most funny thing in creation that you have seen. And now do that again. Spend another few moments thinking about the most beautiful thing you can picture, the most awe-inspiring thing that makes you wonder, the most funny creature that cracks you up. And when you've done that, at least one more time, then you can unpress pause and carry on. Now, with those things in your mind that you have been picturing, imagine you got to stand beside God at the beginning of all things and help name them and categorize them and simply marvel at everything. And then respond in prayer for our world. Creator God, you planted a world of beauty and variety, filled with trees for food and shade. We have turned forests into deserts and many living trees into disposable consumer products. We confess our selfishness in misusing your handiwork to resource our greed. Lord, have mercy. 
Redeemer Lord, whose hands were worked with wood and whose body was broken upon the tree of Calvary, we confess that it was our sin that took you to the cross. We have sought to become wise in our own eyes and thus eaten of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. We repent and return to you to receive from the tree of life. Christ, have mercy. Spirit of God, you make all things new, causing seeds to grow, buds to blossom, fruit to ripen. So within us the seeds of repentance and humility, to live gently within the community of creation and to bring forth the fruit of your kingdom of justice and peace. Lord have mercy. Amen. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, all you his people, O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Let us praise, let us thank, let us celebrate and dance, O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. And now may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and remain with us all now and forevermore. Amen.